get to know photoshop today yeah that's the lesson we're going to be learning so not to waste so much time let's get straight to it yeah so this is photoshop as you can see i've dropped the photo there so what i want to do is make this photo have a nice background and change everything which is looking like this so all i gotta do what i'm going to do first is i'm going to make a copy of the background by pressing ctrl j twice on my keyboard then the first one i name it as m the second one i name it as l then i close the first one pick the l come here to filter go to blur then i say um gaussian blur yeah then i add my gaussian blur up to 4.9 around there or six anyway you want but you should add it in a way it's like with all the photos it will always be different so add it when you're seeing the photo is about to lose focus eh? like when it's starting to lose focus then you're like around four on this photo then press ok then open the first one the m come to image then apply the image um this is now where i said you should name it it's because you will be able to remember so fast on the layers so you're going to select the l then the settings should be on the scale should be on two the offset should be on 128 then you press ok yeah then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come and change from normal to liner light then after that come here and select the mixer brush tool after the mixer brush tool make the settings be the same way you're seeing mine if this is checked uncheck it then put the flow on 55 then press sample all layers then after that come here and create a new layer out of this second one of L then there you can see now you can close the aim and start brushing with a new layer you open so start brushing your photo As you can see, I'm brushing my photo. You can switch on the M to see before and after. So before and after come here brush the hands too make sure if you're brushing you keep brushing going down because if you keep going up you might end up spoiling your photo so don't be brushing and mostly I decide that you should be using a mouse because if you're using a laptop it's kind of hard for you to do it going downwards so I advise if you're using Photoshop you'll be using a mouse most is more fast than a laptop so laptop sensor some shit like that that don't work so as you can see there is before and after so now select the L, select the layer one, select the M, then merge them together as the same one layer. Then you can see before, after. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to quick selection tool. Then we select the photo so that we can remove its background. I like using quick selection tool because it's more quick as, as the way its name sounds. It's not like pen tool because pen tool takes a lot of time for me to cut my photo. So as you can see i'm reducing the size using the bracket on my keyboard and i'm pressing alt so that this plus can change to minus so that i can easily add and remove from where i don't want so like you can see I'm, i've pressed alt on my keyboard and i'm removing the parts that i don't need from the photos 
then now select So as you can see, I'm seeing like I'm now done with selecting my photo. I'm seeing everything I need is inside. Make sure everything you need is inside the round white and black line you're seeing is blinking. But if they are not inside, that means something else is still wrong. So now after you finish cutting like this, press the right click on your key button on your mouse and place feather. Then put it on 2, press OK. Then press Ctrl J on your keyboard. So then now you can see you have a photo with no background. Huh? So after this, we can see there's a rectangle. Come to the shapes and change it. Put it there. Change the color to black as we wanted it in black color. Then put it behind that photo. So after see putting it behind that photo, we can see that still the color of the photo is not matching. The background color so what we have to do is we're going to come here and we add the light the black color on, on the image so as you can see I've come to selective colors and I'm going to change from red because if you add on red it will add the red things on our body so we have to change it to black and then we add the blacks a bit so now you can clearly see that she's kind of matching with the background so the second the third thing we're going to do is we're going to select quick selection tool so that we can select only the face i will make our face to be matching with the body and the background so what we're going to do we're going to select the body part not the hair leave the hair out because the hair is already black we don't need to change it no more As I say, don't select the hair. So now here, you can press Ctrl J again on your keyboard. Then you can see, if you switch this off, we're having only the face. Eh? So now, select that face, come to filter, go to camera roll filter. Then reduce the highlights, reduce the lights, add the contrast, add the shadows, all. Add, reduce the blacks if you feel like highlights should go a bit up so that the photo it's according to how your photo is looking now so now come to vibrance reduce it a bit because we want it to come back to the normal color not too brown so now as you can see we have from this to this huh? so we have from this to this we have reduced the lights kind of matching with the background so we're going to make the teeth white now come to filter camera roll filter again this is the best way i use for making the teeth white and the eyes so zoom it on the teeth then come to adjustment brush then as you can see make your setting to be looking the same way you're seeing mine is looking here then just start brushing the teeth one by one in some photos you need to brush press this other the gum but in this photo we don't need to brush the gum because if we brush the gum it will be looking crazy so brush only the white part of the teeth the yellow part we're changing it to white as you can see the way i'm pressing i'm brushing only the white particles of the teeth i'm not touching the gum then come to the highs on the highs you can brush all of it because we need this to look black too so you can brush all of it so once you've brushed all from the eyes and you're seeing like it's looking like white white again come to the highlights and reduce it a bit down so we can see the black a bit so now there you can press ok then as you can see our teeth is looking white plus the highs at the same time now the last thing you're going to do is select the high part the layer 2 and come to camera roll filter 
then go to details then add the luminance don't always don't forget this is the last part that makes a photo to shine add the luminance around 40 or 50 then add the amount of bit to around that then here we have your photo looking great yeah that's how you do it thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this yeah hit the like subscribe comment share it with anyone you feel like sharing and have leon you're making too much noise that's why you're hearing there's noise in the background yeah see you in the next video